I just put in some more grape jelly and I wanted to talk to you guys about this just for a second. If you've been watching our videos, you'll know that Clay and I had just done our grapes up. And I made this batch, which was actually some the leftovers from last year into like almost like a pie filling, but I'm going to use it for jelly for my toast. And I don't have that didn't have that many bags left. I had like two bags. But this particular one, I just all I did was I froze it and I put it in a jelly jar that I just emptied out from the grocery store. So now when I want to make a peanut butter and jelly or jelly sandwich um you know just maybe jelly on a cracker or something, I can just take a scoop right out of here and I actually go through quite a bit of this. Um Great jelly, you know, Welch's grape jelly is my favorite, and pretty much Concord grapes is a taste of Welch's grape jelly. So that's what this is. It's the Concord grapes, and um, I just made it like a pie filling. I just, you know, a little of this and a little of that, you know, sh except for the flour. I put sugar, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and I mixed it up. And that was the recipe I did for this particular batch. But that's the beauty of growing your own grapes. You can change up your batches and make them however you want. Grapes are really easy to grow. And once you get them started, they just keep producing and producing. And so I put this last batch in the jar here. I have one more small bag. So basically from the freezer to the jar for this. And then I'm going to work on um, doing all the grapes that I had in the freezer. I did not get to them yet, which I'm panicking now to get to those. I just had a lot going on. So I'm going to finish up those today as I'm watching YouTubes. I've been watching YouTubes all day. And I usually pre pretty much watch YouTubes 24-7, except when I'm sleeping. But um, I just wanted to show you how I do it. It's so easy. You don't have to always be a canner. You can freeze, too. And that's what I did with this. I just froze it, put it in the jar, and now I have my own personal grape jelly. You can add sugar, not add sugar, have it straight up, which is sour, but you can add something to it if you want to. Say if you're making a pie or something, you may not want to uh, put um, you know, sugar and different things in if you have a different recipe. This way you're starting out with just grapes. But for this, I, like I said, it's just a spread that I'm going to use on pancakes or peanut butter and jelly or just, you know, muffins or whatever I feel like it. So here you go. You can freeze and go. And uh, if you're not a canner, another way of doing things. Okay, guys, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.